What's up everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is Kasim and today I've got for you all the Govi Flow light bars. Now these just might be the perfect replacement for Philips Hue play bars. You know, ever since Philips Hue play bars have been on the market, there have been tons of replacements that try to replicate what the play bars can do because they are that great of a lighting system. These just might be the perfect fit. You guys know I love Philips Hue and I know a lot of you guys have Philips Hue products so I thought this would be a perfect product to showcase to all of you. Now before we actually get started guys check down below in the description so that you guys can jump to your desired part of the video. Alright guys so let's start with what's in the box. So first and foremost you have your light bars and that's obvious. Now what's nice about these light bars is that instead of actually screwing in the brackets that you're gonna put here or here, like you do with the play bars, these have a little slot right here that one of the brackets can go into. And for the bottom one, if you wanna stand them up, it's just gonna slide into it nice and easy. What's also different is that these two are joined together with their cables. So they don't each have a separate cable. So that is something that is different in terms of these bars as opposed to the Philips Hue play bars. Now you also get these brackets. So you're gonna get two of these brackets. So these are gonna be great if you wanna put them behind a monitor. So basically the same setup that I have with my Philips Hue play, you can do with these. Now what's cool about it is, is that you have this low bracket and it just slides in. So you're just gonna line it up, slide it in, and then these have 3M on the back. So you can just peel this off and tape it to the back of your monitor or TV or wherever you wanna mount it up. And then I really like this one, especially the fact that they actually just slide in. So this is for having it vertical. So you're just gonna slide it in like this and now your light bar can stand vertical so i really like the brackets they're very simple so you don't have to worry about screwing anything in as you do with the philips hue play bars now this is a pro kit so because of that you also get this camera that you can set on top of a monitor and then you get these little stickies, which I'll show you guys a little bit later as to how this works. So this is gonna help sync all your lights, like what's happening on the monitor or TV with the light bars themselves. All right guys, so the last piece that you're going to get is this little controller box. Now this also has 3M on the backside, so you can mount it up. Now the actual camera, is going to plug into this controller box if you're using that. And then the actual cable for the light bars plugs into this control bar. And it's got buttons over here so you can turn these on and off, you can change the modes on them, you can change the brightness, so that's pretty cool. And last but not least, you've got, of course, your power adapter. So this has a nice and lengthy cable and this is what is actually going to plug into this control box. All right guys, so now that we know what's in the box, I wanna talk about the actual light bars. These are just as versatile as the Philips Hue play bars, simply because they can be laid on their side, they can be stood up with the brackets, they can be mounted up. So honestly, just like the play bars, it's going to be up to your imagination how you wanna utilize these. All right guys, another thing that I really love about these light bars is the fact that they actually display multiple colors. So. It would have been really cool if they could do like half the light bar one color and half the light bar the other, but they don't actually do that. But just the fact that they can display multiple colors and you can, you know, there's a bunch of different scenes that you can actually choose from and apply them that look really cool with these. And the Philips Hue play bars, they just don't do that. Now, a couple other things that make these a little bit different is that this control module has a microphone inside of it. And that is because you can have your music playing. So music playing in the room, anywhere at your desk, it can sync up with these lights and you've got a lot of options as to how you wanna do that. You can have your phone be the device that picks up the audio. You can have the control module of the actual light bars, which can pick up the audio. And combined with the app, 
you can tweak the settings a lot. So I really like that and it works really well. Now, speaking of the app guys, there's a bunch of things you can do in there. You've got a bunch of scenes to choose from. You can change the modes. You can set timers for these. You can create your own scenes. There's a lot of options in there and it's really cool. Also with the app, I didn't bother going into the setup because the setup was that simple. It's just a few taps when you plug these in, it's a few taps and your light bars are set up and ready to go. Even setting up the actual camera system to work with the light sync, that is pretty simple because the app literally walks you through the entire process. All right guys, so real quickly, I wanna talk about the actual camera and the syncing. So these little orange stickies are gonna go on the corners of your screen and the app is gonna guide you through this. It's gonna tell you and read your screen and tell you exactly what adjustments to make. So that way your monitor and camera are calibrated for light syncing when you're playing videos and when you're playing games. All right guys, so next I wanna compare these with the Philips Hue Play Bars. Now the Govi Flow Light Bars come in two options. First option is $52 and you'll get two light bars and you're not gonna get the camera system with it. Now, if you get the pro light bar, then you'll get the camera system and you can have the light sync as well. Whereas in comparison, the Philips Hue Play Bars come in at $129. And in order to sync lights, you need the HDMI sync box and you need a bridge. So the bridge is gonna cost you $60 and the HDMI sync box is 229. So you're gonna need all of that stuff just to get going with light sync. Now, honestly, with the light sync, here's the thing. So this whole camera system, first of all, I don't, I personally wouldn't want to have a camera right here, just kind of sitting and looking down. I find that to be annoying, but that's just me. And if you are cool with that, then that's totally fine. The other thing is, is that the light syncing effect isn't as good as what you get with the Philips Hue sync box since the actual content is passing through the HDMI sync box and then to your Philips Hue lights. I think it just syncs a lot better and I'm pretty sure everyone can agree with me here. Now, with that said, this as a budget option is a great option. I think if you wanted to set these up at a desk, even with a TV, I think this is great. I mean, I personally would go for the $50 one. The way I was looking at it when I was thinking about this, I was like, I already have a bunch of Philips Hue lights and the lights that are, I'm not syncing with my sync box, I can add these to my computer desk setup. I can add these to another room. I can put them somewhere on a shelf, like where I don't need the lights to be syncing. I can add these as two perfectly great RGB light bars and they would look awesome. So honestly, I think that these for the price, they are really awesome. Now with Philips Hue, one thing I wanna add is that if you are looking at Philips Hue Play Bars, the thing is is that a lot of people make a big deal about the bridge and then, you know, people always put it like this, oh, you're gonna to have to buy the bridge and then set it up. What most people don't understand is that with the bridge, you can sync up to 50 lights. So you can add up to 50 Philips Hue devices to that one bridge. So you're paying $60 once. I got my bridge two years ago with my Philips Hue starter kit. So it came with a couple bulbs, a dimmer switch and the bridge. And I have yet to add another bridge, even after adding my office lights, adding Philips Hue lights to different rooms of mine. So, Honestly, that one price of the bridge, the reason that it looks as such a big hassle is because when you go to buy your first Philips Hue product, it's gonna look to be even more expensive because now you're adding the $60 price to those bulbs or to those light bars or to those, any Philips Hue lights that you're gonna be getting. So if you are going down the Philips Hue route, honestly, start with the starter kit and slowly add lights like I did, and the bridge is not gonna be that big of a deal. Now about the HDMI sync box, if you really want immersive content, see the thing with these light bars is that you have these two connected to this desk setup, for instance. You're watching a movie, they sync, that's perfectly fine. They're gonna do a great job, and 
they'll look all right. And for the price, hey, really no complaints. But the problem is, is that with the Philips Hue sync box, you can add a bunch of lights to that entertainment area. So you can really have an immersive experience as opposed to with the Govi setup. Because with Govi, you're gonna have that one light passing with that one camera and that is all. So you're kind of limited in terms of versatility when it comes to syncing lights. But other than that, this is just as versatile. The mounting options are great. The light options are great. The app is great. They function great. They're a lot cheaper than the Philips Hue Play Bars or a lot of Philips Hue lights for that matter. So honestly, these are great. All right, so now I wanna give you guys my final thoughts. Like having played around with these, having had so many different Philips Hue products, would I recommend this to you? And like I said before, for the price, whether I personally would buy the standard kit. Just go for the standard $50 kit. And if you really want the, the pro camera kit, then you can get that, but I personally wouldn't use it. I love these and their light output. I love the amount of versatility that the app offers. I love the fact that you can set them up with Google Assistant, Amazon. I love their price. Their price is really awesome. So. Like I said, like in my particular setup, I have one sync box with one room that is syncing lights. So in that room, I have all Philips Hue lights in different locations. So for me personally, this light bar, I'll happily use in any other room. Like if I wanna add it to my computer here, or if I wanna add it to a shelf or any other room, I'd happily use this because I'm not syncing lights over there. So this is going to be a perfect addition, especially considering that price. So with that said, guys, I hope my insight, everything I shared with you all today can help guide you in the right direction as to whether these light bars are the right option for you. I really love them and I highly recommend them. If you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Comment down below with anything that you'd like to say. And most importantly, guys, take care of yourselves and I will see you all in the next video.